Hello, students. I am Mrs. Obasi IP. I am here to teach you biology. This class is exclusively for SS2 students. Our topic today is nutrient cycling in nature. Nutrient cycling in nature. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to one, define the carbon and oxygen cycle. Two, explain the carbon oxygen balance. And three, draw the carbon and oxygen cycle. Let us start with explaining what the carbon cycle is. Let us start with explaining what the carbon cycle is. The carbon cycle involves the series of processes by which carbon in form, in form of carbon dioxide is removed and restored to the atmosphere. I repeat, the carbon cycle involves the series of processes by which carbon in the form of carbon dioxide is removed and restored back into the atmosphere. What are the ways, in what ways are carbon removed from the atmosphere? What we are talking about are ways that carbon can be removed into the, from the atmosphere. What are the processes or the things that happen that causes the removal of carbon from the atmosphere? First is that carbon is removed from the atmosphere during the process of a photosynthesis. We all know that photosynthesis is a process by which carbon is removed from the atmosphere. The plants use the carbon and oxygen is then released into the atmosphere. Two, carbon is lost in form of carbonates and calcium. Sorry, carbon is lost in the form of carbonates of calcium and magnesium through leaching and drainage. When there is leaching and drainage, carbon is lost in the form of carbonates of calcium and the magnesium. Also, when animals feed on green plants, the carbon compounds become part of their bodies. When animals feed on green plants, they take the carbon compounds from the green plants and they become part of their body. In that way, that carbon has been removed from the atmosphere. What are ways that carbon, in what ways can carbon be released into the atmosphere? First, by the burning of fuel. Burning of fuel, example, coal and wood. We can also call it combustion. Burning of fuel, example, coal and wood, can result in the release of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Also, the action of volcanoes, that is volcanic eruption, results in the release of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Then, re respiration in plants and animals also releases carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Death, decay, and putrefaction of plants and animals can also be a process by which carbon is released into the atmosphere. Diffusion of carbon, carbon dioxide from seas and other water bodies can also cause the release of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. What we have on the board is a diagram of the carbon cycle. What we have on the board is a diagram of carbon cycle. The illustrations are very clear here when you look at it. What we have here is that carbon, we are talking about carbon here that is in the atmosphere and it dissolves oxygen, uh, it dissolves water. Carbon in the atmosphere and dissolves water. Through the process of photosynthesis, green plants take in carbon. Okay? Then this green plant also, through the burning of fuel, it is released through biofuel as combustion and carbon dioxide is also released back into the atmosphere. Also, Respiration of this green plant and metabolism also releases part of it into the atmosphere. Down here, these green plants are eaten by animals. 
and the death and decay of these animals will also release carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Then the death and decay of plants also releases carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. This diagram is a simple illustration of the basic carbon cycle in cycle flow in nature. Before we talk about the oxygen cycle, let us talk about the importance of carbon cycle. What are the importance of this cycle that we are talking about, the carbon cycle? What are its importance? One, it ensures the concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere re remains relatively constant. It ensures that the concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere re remains rel relatively constant. Also, the carbon cycle ensures a constant supply of carbon dioxide for green plants to carry out the process of a photosynthesis. Carbon cycle ensures a constant supply of carbon dioxide for green plants to continue to carry out the process of a photosynthesis. Carbon cycle provides carbon to living organisms for synthesis of carb carbohydrate, fat, and protein. It provides carbon to living organisms for synthesis of carbohydrate, fat, and a protein. Carbon cycle also in enables carbon compounds to be transferred from organism to organism in the food chain of an ecosystem. Carbon cycle enables carbon compounds to be transferred from organism to organism in the food chain of an ecosystem. Organic matter, which is also made from carbon compounds, helps to replenish soil nutrients. Organic matter, which is also made from carbon, helps to replenish soil nutrients. The second one we are going to talk about in this particular topic of nutrient cycling in nature is the oxygen cycle. What is the oxygen cycle? It is also the process by which oxygen is removed and returned to the atmosphere. Oxygen cycle is also the series of processes by which oxygen is removed and also restored back into the atmosphere. How can oxygen be removed from the atmosphere? Oxygen can be removed by the cellular respiration of living organisms. When there is res cellular respiration in living organisms, oxygen is removed from the atmosphere. It is also removed by combustion of fossil fuel. By the combustion of fossil fuel, oxygen is removed from the atmosphere. Oxygen is also removed through the decay of dead animals and plants. Oxygen is removed through the decay of dead animals and plants. Then what is the major process we know, or the major way we know that oxygen can be removed, released back into the atmosphere? Oxygen is released back into the, into the atmosphere through the process of photosynthesis. What we have on the board is a diagram of the oxygen cycle. If you look at it very well, it is very clear. We have photosynthesis in green plants. Okay? Oxygen in the atmosphere is released to plants and animals through the process of photosynthesis. Organic compounds are also released to plants and animals. After being used, they come back here and the plants and anim the animals actually release carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. And these carbon dioxide are also used for plants again, used by plants again for the process of photosynthesis. Also, another byproduct is water, which is also used for the process of eh, photosynthesis in plants. The last thing I want us to talk about is the carbon oxygen balance. When we are talking about the carbon oxygen balance, we are talking about the balance of carbon dioxide and oxygen in the atmosphere. And it is mainly maintained by the oxygen, by the oxygen released and the carbon dioxide consumed during 
photosynthesis in plants. The balance of carbon dioxide and oxygen in the atmosphere is mainly maintained by the oxygen released and carbon dioxide consumed during photosynthesis in plants. It is also regulated by carbon dioxide released by animals during respiration. It is also regulated by the carbon dioxide released by animals during respira respiration. Oxygen makes up 21% of gases in the atmosphere and is also maintained by its use during combustion. So when oxygen is used during combustion, it also helps to maintain the oxygen balance. Also during decay, it, is help, it helps to maintain oxygen balance. Carbon dioxide released during photosynthesis is 0.0%. 0.0%. The process of photosynthesis and respiration keeps the amount of the atmospheric carbon dioxide and oxygen at a relatively constant level. So when we talk about the oxygen, the carbon oxygen balance, we are talking about the process of respiration and photosynthesis, which helps to keep the oxygen and, and, and carbon dioxide level in the atmosphere relatively constant. Thank you. This is the end of the class. I have some assignments for you. The assignments are 1. Define the following term. A. Carbon cycle. Define the following term. A. Carbon cycle. B. Oxygen cycle. 2. Diagrammatically illustrate the carbon cycle. 3. Briefly explain the term carbon oxygen balance thank you for being here remain blessed and stay safe thank you.